the railway authorities have suspended seven employees on charges of negligence of duty which resulted in the horrific triple train collision near Behenga Bazar railway station in Odisha's Balasore district on 2nd June. The Regional Office of the India Meteorological Department IMD on Wednesday predicted light to moderate rain accompanied by thunder showers and lightning at various places across Odisha for the next five days. Odisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak on Wednesday sanctioned 20 rupees for the overall development of Gupteshwar Pit in Koraput district. The pit will be developed into an important religious, historical and tourist place in Odisha. Afraid of being shamed, an Odisha businessman reportedly attempted to end his life on Wednesday by stabbing himself several times with scissors after a girl blackmailed him to expose his dirty talk with her over WhatsApp video calls. The Regional Office of the India Meteorological Department IMD here has warned that light to moderate rain accompanied by thunder shower and lightning is likely to affect some districts in Odisha within the next three hours. Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak today announced that to honor the contribution of the great freedom fighter Pabitra Mohan Pradhan towards India's freedom struggle and development of Odisha Thay, Pabitra Mohan Smriti Peet at Talche. As per the directions of Odisha Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak, Secretary to CM Panch TVK Pandian visited Angul district to review the progress of various developmental works in the district and redressal of public grievances. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on Wednesday wrote a letter to Union Home Minister Amit Shah urging the centre to intervene as the water level of the Yamuna reached 207.55 metres, breaking a previous record set in 1978. Congress President Malikarjun Khadge on Wednesday attacked BJP over inflation saying people do not need Prime Minister Narendra Modi's statements but need him to fulfil his duties. The Supreme Court on Wednesday refused to hear an unlisted mentioning seeking an urgent listing of a plea filed by the makers of film Adi Purush against the order of Allahabad High Court calling for their personal appearance. Noted Islamic scholar and Secretary General of Muslim World League Muhammad bin Abdul Karim Isa on Wednesday called on President Draupdi Murmu at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Former Congress President Sonia Gandhi will attend the second opposition meeting in Bangalore on July 17th to 18th which will also see the participation of Chobis parties, sources said on Wednesday. The Indian Space Agency has decided to transfer the technology to more than one private player to make small satellite launch vehicle to interested parties and an expression of interest, AOI. The third angle of this triangle is now in trouble. According to official sources, a police investigation is likely against Mahoba District Home Guards Commandant Manish Dubey, along with his suspension and departmental action. In one of the toughest operations to dig through mounds of snow to make way for nearly 300 tourists, comprising three foreigners, who got stuck on the icy road in Himachal Pradesh's Spiti Valley at altitudes ranging above 15,060 feet. The Union Cabinet is likely to take up for consideration the Jan Vishwas Bill 2022 that proposes to decriminalize various offenses in 42 laws, including minor ones that invite jail term. The GSAC members will on Wednesday ratify a long-term security arrangement with Ukraine at the ongoing NATO summit in Vilnius. Lithuania. The GSAC announcement came after the military alliance said that Ukraine could join the NATO. Amid spiraling prices of tomatoes across the country due to heavy rains in Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand from where bulk of supplies arrive, the center has sought procurement of tomatoes from Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra. The GST Council in its 50th meeting on Tuesday, presided over by Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman, exempted cancer treatment drugs, special medicines and food for medical purpose from levy of the goods and services tax. In the trailer for the upcoming superhero film Blue Beetle, we see the DC superhero in action as he faces off against his foe Conrad Carapax, also called the Indestructible Man. Actor Ranveer Singh, who is all geared up for the release of Karan Johar directorial Rocky or Rani Ki Prem Kahani, has dropped a glimpse of his final dubbing portion for the film. 
बॉलीवुड मेगा स्टार शाहरुख खान जवान प्रीव्यू हैज लेफ्ट अ सिग्निफिकेंट मार्क ऑन द इंडियन डिजिटल लैंडस्केप एंड नाउ सलमान खान हैज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इट आउटस्टैंडिंग ऑस्ट्रेलिया बैटर ट्रेविस हेड हैज ओवरटेकन टीम मेट्स स्टीव स्मिथ एंड मार्नस लैबस चैगने टू ग्रैब अ करियर बेस्ट सेकेंड पोजिशन इन द आईसीसी मेन्स टेस्ट प्लेयर रैंकिंग रिलीज ऑन वेन्सडे Football's global governing body FIFA has lifted a ban on Zimbabwe from participating in world tournaments the country's sport arts and culture minister Kirsty Coventry said Breaking an 11 year old world record set by the Chinese a taekwondo team from Nagaland etched its name in the Guinness World Records officials said on Tuesday claiming that it is time for the global game to reset The MCC World Cricket Committee has proposed for the International Cricket Council to establish two strategic funds one to sustain the test cricket program Sensational by their spinners helped India beat Bangladesh by 8 runs in a thrilling second T20I and take an unbeatable 2-0 lead in the three match series at Sher-e Bangla National Stadium here on Tuesday India's first ever world judo champion Lin Thoi Chanambam clinched a gold medal at the recently concluded National Cadet Youth Championships held here at Inspire Institute of Sport. Scientists have reset the clock for craters on the moon, meaning that parts of its surface which characterize the children's story of the man in the moon are around 200 million years older than had been thought. Instagram head Adam Mosseri has said that the company is pumped to start shipping improvements on threads this week. In a post on Tuesday, Mosseri said, "With so many people joining Threads so fast these last six days, 